Hey guys, doing a video today, and this one, I've had a few subscribers ask me about this over over time from OnlyFans and YouTube, and it's about this brand, Greg Holm, or Holm, and why don't I, why haven't I done a video on it, why don't I feature them? It wasn't intentional, I don't have a whole lot from them, and I don't buy a whole lot, but I do have some things that I really like. I have found that they are... A bit expensive, for, so a U.S. person or European brand. Currency can change, the pricing changes. I think for the value you get from them, they seem to be a bit higher than what I'm often willing to pay. So I'm, um, I think it's probably like eight to twelve dollars higher than what other equivalent brands uh, price at. And I know that this particular brand is very popular. Um, perhaps even more so outside of the U.S. But you can get them on a lot of websites. And let me just start off by showing you what I have. I just bought this one. And it's just Greg Holm. It has this, it's this outrageous underwear style that they're doing. And it's a light blue. And it is just the thinnest material I've ever seen. Very unique, and this one is entirely see-through, so this is not YouTube-friendly at all. You'll see everything here. And just has a standard tee back. I'll need to remove the tag from this one because you'll just you'll see it all the time. Look how transparent that is. And it's a uh, 60% polyamide and 40% spandex. I bought a large, if it's fine. And this one's fun. It's uh, purchased February 2022. And I wanted to try it out again. And uh, what I've seen most from this brand are a lot of G-strings, um, a lot of smaller thongs, um, a lot of G-strings. I get asked, um, hey, get this one. Do you have this one? And it's often, it's, of course, it's the smallest ones possible that people want to see. But what I found with some of the G-strings um, this is an older one. G-strings, and not not specific just to this brand, but they're they're certainly they have a lot of eye candy involved, right? You can see a lot of stuff, but um, they're kind of shapeless. They don't have a lot of designer style, and you know that's all right. But I, I guess I like a little bit more design if I'm taking photos or doing a video. Just a little string is sometimes it's fun, but Oftentimes it's just eh, a little blah, a little not as interesting. So, anyways, on to this. This is one of the earlier ones I got. This was a very popular one. I don't even remember the name, but a red one. It's extremely soft material. It has stretched out a little bit over the years. I think I got this one in Europe. And then I had so it's, it's it is a G string, but it has a little bit bigger top there. Very slippery. And I got the same one in black. Purchased these together. They look like they can be see-through, but not, not entirely. Those are fun. Uh, I got this one that I really like. Is it Greg? And it's mesh. It is going to be see-through. It's a bulge pouch. The one thing that's really strange about this brand, and perhaps why I've not purchased a lot, is that they're all really stretchy. They're all loose. Like they stretch out over time, and it just kind of, it's just so loose. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't hold anything together so much. But uh, this one takes some good photos. Check out the OnlyFans if you want to see this one. All of them. I got this one. This would be traditional G-string. This one looks a little strange on. So it's a tiny, tiny one. Gray logo. So it's like a tan metallic. And here it looks cool, but when it's wet, it looks a little, I don't know, sloppy and brown. But it is okay. This one's a little bit more tight. 
The majority of what I'm showing you are all mediums except for the light blue and one other one I'll show you here. So it's okay. I mean, you just you just have butt cheeks <laughs> in the back. That's all you have. And so these ones were very popular. Um, chic. And the thing about these, I got a white one and black one tag that's no longer has any uh, text on it. The thing about these ones, they're, these ones actually were pretty tight, very, very stretchy. They they're feel more cotton than synthetic. I know it's a mix. I'm sure it has some spandex in there. But Okay, so a little bit of a bulge pouch, not full bulge, standard tee back. But when you get to the back, you get this like a Y shape. And you just have just this string. Not much coverage there, and so if you're bending over, you're doing stuff, you're, everything's going to be, I'll just, everything will be seen. <laughs> so if you like that, then it's, it's unique. There's not always many styles that have that completely thin strap. There's a George swimsuit that I have that has that that's kind of fun. People <laughs> like those photos. Um, these take some hot photos, definitely. And one of my favorite ones for in the last, I'd say, two to three years is this large mesh, um, out, again, the Outrageous Collection. It is a full bulge pouch. It's got some bracing up front right in the middle. Tee back, standard tee back. This one fits great, and it's pretty hot. So, lots of fun. Certainly can't show this one on YouTube. So that's the collection. I don't, I don't dislike the brand at all. Not at all. I do think they have some really fun stuff, especially this outrageous collection. Especially these ones I've had for a while. Some of the standard G-strings are okay, but to me, again, people are asking me to buy this and that of the home G-strings, but the whole I already have. I kind of know what they are. So, I look for something that's special, and this, this advice comes with all my brands that I review. Get something special from each brand, something unique to that brand that you have not seen before. Um, if you have to pay a premium on because of the brand name or the, the apparent design or, or perceived value of that brand, then get something that's unique. I say that on my rough skin videos. Don't get the standard teabag thong that you can get basically anywhere. So a unique design of the garment, unique color, the unique fabric. Get the unique thing if you're going to pay a premium. So that that's my advice. Look for the unique stuff with this brand. I, I like the outrageous stuff. Um, I enjoy it. I wish the pricing was just a bit lower. If you guys have seen something that you like at this brand that I'm just not getting or not seeing, Feel free to send me a message, leave a comment, use my other socials to, to send the comment. I'm, I'm always willing to try things out. But this is my collection, certainly not small. It, this is over years of time here. But, and with these two being the, the last ones I purchased, this one this month, I had this one, source favorites. This, this one had a whole collection of these large mesh ones. I, they were expensive, so I only bought one, but it would have been fun to have more. Uh, favorites. This one is also a lot of fun. The mesh bulge. And these ones are still going strong and they take some hot photos. I'll do more comms on OnlyFans. You'll see pictures over there. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.